Evening everyone, welcome back to some late night hypermine. How's it going? Okay, so we've been a bit busy since the last time you were here. We only only got one apiary up last time, and this is more of just of an update on what's going on and how far I've gotten so far. Exciting things will be happening soon. What we might do, however, is build up a couple of these walls because I'm currently living in a hut. Okay, so let's just see what's going on. We've got some tanks here with some honey in them. I've got a common set going. I've got a forestry set going. I've got a cultivated set going. I have my meadows going. And I also have diligent going at the minute. So we are actually pretty close to our oily. Um, let me show you in here. Yeah, I've got loads of the standard ones, but I also, in here, have an Ancient, and a Noble, and those are used to get a Primeval, and you mix a Primeval and an Ocean to get an Oily. And once we have an Oily, then we can start using the Oily Combs that are produced to actually generate more power and start getting more machines online. In addition to that, I have actually finally got a few propolis, and I have made myself two apiarists' pipes. However, I don't really have any way to automate them at the minute, and I'd have to set engines on them, and I don't really want to do that. So, if anybody else is watching and on the server, if you have an assembly table, could I get two autotic gates, please? That'd be awesome. Uh, what else have we done? What else have we done? We went to the nether a bunch, got ourselves some of these blight berries. Oh yeah, we remade Greed. So, same setup as last time, auto repair, luck and haste. We're up to fortune one already, having only put one lapis on it. And in addition to that, we also have got Silky Smooth. Now obviously we need emeralds for that, I need to go find a village, or... Or, more appropriately, need to make an emerald bee. Emerald bees are fairly difficult to get hold of. Uh, if I just show you here. Emerald, which produces emerald combs. And emerald combs because they're a subset of the rocky branch, produce emerald fragments. And emerald fragments are turned into emeralds when you have nine of them. So to get here we need a lapis and a noble. Noble we've got, that's pretty easy. The lapis is a resilient and water. Oh yeah, I think that's actually not the only way to get there. Oh no, there is. Yeah, okay. So, Lapis is resilient in water, that's not too bad, because a resilient is an imperial and a robust. Robust is just a rocky and a tolerant, and a tolerant is a rocky and diligent. So we're not actually too far off of getting this as well. Not horribly far, we've got the water, I have a hive sitting over there somewhere, which is just generating more water bees for me, because I need them. Uh, we've got the cultivated. Uh, I don't have a rocky just yet, but that aren't, they aren't too difficult to get, and I'm sure if I look in walls often enough, I will find a couple. In fact, if I had to sit here and run a quarry, I'd probably get a dozen. So that's not too bad. Alright, so what we're going to do... Put some wood in here. I need to hunt around for my wood and move it from this chest. Because we don't want it in here, we want to use it elsewhere. I also have ghost wood. I've not really played around with ghost wood too much. Might be worth taking a look at that. So, did I pull that chest out? I did, but I put it away. Might as well stick this in here. This is holding all of my. Apiar stuff, or was, now it's holding a bunch of other junk. That's fine. Okay, we also have some saplings. I think I'll put those somewhere else, actually. Right, 
Doesn't matter too much. So I was thinking about the first layer, we'll just go straight for oak. That's what we've been using primarily for the most part in this place. Let's go for a three by three. There are there are ways and means of having a three by three door in this pack. So understand this functionality, but I'm not going to question it too much. Why this does this? I don't know. But never mind. Alright. Alright, so it's only the shovel. Okay, so that's this level. Oh, we're already running out of light. Jeez. The suggestions I had was to make the next level a different color. So, what color is this? Sort of grayish? Nah, let's try jungle. Mm -hmm. like the counter over to the bottom left that tells me how much of, a, of an item I've got as long as I'm holding that item. That's nice functionality. And I uh, will need to put a roof on this place as well. I'll worry about that later though. I haven't improved my power situation either. Um, I had a bunch of suggestions from the other hyperminers. And so I'll probably take up on that at some point. Let's just do this. Uh, they suggested going for a electrolytic separator, which will produce hydrogen and oxygen, which is nice. It's and then you can you can use it in a hydrogen generator to produce all your power. It 
works quite well. It's a really good solution. It doesn't really uh, gel too well with what I'm doing here, but what I am doing here is a bit nuts. So, maybe I should take some other advice. <laughs> I quite like the crazy scientist thing. I'm a crazy bee scientist. Interesting twist. Alright, I will also need to actually extend this to go up here at some point. Look, we're not going to cover that up. We don't have any underground or nocturnals yet. So can't cover that up. I'm trying to think what else happened. I don't think much else has happened. I found a mine shaft underneath my place, so we'll probably go explore that at some point. I started on my Thorncraft stuff. Which yeah that's good. It just takes a while, and Thorncraft at the minute is just so... It's just so boring to watch, you know? There's nothing interesting that happens the whole time doing it. I don't think anybody... Anything can come in yet. Right. And what we'll do is we'll dismantle this, and stick up a bit up there and I think I might try and recreate a little bit of the old ILM table uh, tower table. which would be nice I quite like that tower but let's see if we can make it work on a hexagon so yeah things are progressing at peace this is just an update to let you know that I am actually getting somewhere with my project soon we will have the whole of our production Ooh, Majestics dealt with fire bees and that is the goal diligent, diligent excellent alright guys thanks for watching, we built something there we go and uh, you know where I currently stand I am around two steps away from getting my first oily bee so thanks for watching everybody, you've been a fantastic guy uh, ah. Thanks for watching everybody, you've been a fantastic audience as ever, and I will see you next time. Adios.